I am near the lake Titicaca. I am in Puno and apparently uh, there's a point of view in this town so yesterday when I arrived it was really pouring rain uh, it was all grey, all dark and uh, yeah I didn't it was not very motivating to stay here and uh, oops but when I woke up this morning it was all sunny so I decided to yeah maybe stay one more night because I was very tired my bike is absolutely disgusting it's covered with mud and dirt I should find a place to clean it so I don't know if I will uh, I need to find some gasoline as usual but first of all I'm gonna go and check out if I can see uh, if I can find this uh, point of view, this Mirador in uh, Puno and from here I should have a quite nice view of the lake okay there's a Repsol gas station here Even though it's a bit more expensive apparently in Peru uh, it will be surely a bit more easy to find some gasoline because in Bolivia it was not that easy sometimes it was okay and sometimes it was really not okay I think I can see the Mirador up there top of the mountain might be a cool view from here we'll see tried to bite me oh shut up he actually bite my boots so I was wow <laughs> I didn't even check that dog but he tried to bite me but with these boots I think uh, it's uh I don't risk anything but still it was like a cocker like a, a, a small dog that uh, should be quite uh, cool but you never know in here since I'm in South America there's so many dogs everywhere so I'm quite used now they run after me so I'm not very scared when they run too low you just accelerate or you just stop and, and, and just uh, look at them and they most of the time they stop but this one tried to bite my my foot stupid dog okay this is the place let's have a look a funny puma not really funny actually it's quite scary but it's beautiful and you climb between his legs to access the mirador point So Puno is a bigger city than I thought Ok I'm going to go back down 
maybe I can find a place to clean the bike I'm not sure let's see oops quite steep oh shut up shut up shut up shut up I'm done with these dogs <laughs> ah maybe Mahmat uh, is a little bit more clean just she needed a big uh, yeah a big shampoo and this is what she got what I should try to find now is um, some product for the chain okay here there are like bikes Tingle. Sí, hola. ¿Qué está buscando? Eh, aceite para la cadena. Aceite. Sí. Por... Sí, 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 sí. ¿De, de, de dónde eres? De Suiza. Ah, de Suiza. De Suiza. I am leaving Puno and I came across uh, these groups of uh, bikers from Argentina just on the road. I'm close to my destination, uh, Sikani. So yeah, I didn't film a lot because I was just driving on these highlands uh, almost all the time at 3008, 3009 meter, uh, surrounded by these mountains, green mountains around me, um, which surely reach five or more thousand meter um, yeah and the road was uh, quite okay there's not a lot to see a couple of cows here and there Quite cool place, very quiet. Oh, look at the small one! Two small babies. Voilà. Petit bébé. Look at this view. Y la vida se se da gracias al agua. It seems that uh, they're making a protest for water to protect water, surely.
this way. I don't know if this time it's going to be off-road, I mean, not paved, which could be cool, actually. Do I go there or watch? Is it how much? 14k. Oops. Hola, come la, come la carreta. Para dónde está yendo? Para para Cusco. No vas a poder llegar. No se puede. No se puede. Mucha vuelta es. Te vas a perder. Mucha chuve. Es mucha. Sí. Ajá. Tropo peligroso. Tropo peligro. Ajá. Sí. Por la pista nomás. La pista normal. Sí. Ok. Normal. Ok. La la no. Pero acá no, no, no. No, 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 no. Así está, barro. Sí, siempre así. Ok. Ok, gracias, ok. <laughs> ok. I am not doing this. Okay, if these guys with a truck tell me it's not a good idea and it's very wet and muddy, I will not do it. I think maybe I'm gonna go back. If it was like, like this, dry, I would do it. But gracias. But if it's completely muddy, I just don't want to do like 100k of mud, uh, not knowing exactly. And if it starts to rain, it's going to be even worse. And this was planned by the weather forecast. So, not today. This is where I wanted to go through these mountains, but you can see it's quite grey. And the guys in the truck told me it was really not a good idea. So if it's really muddy, like if it was like, I don't know, 10, 15 kilometers, I would have tried maybe. But uh, 100 kilometers of mud, and if it starts to rain, it's a nightmare. So no. I'm going to take the easy path. This needs to be captured on video. Look at the car in front of me. I mean, it's completely distorted. Look at this car. This is completely crazy. The back wheel, or just like, I don't know, 15 centimeters on the right compared to the front wheels. Poor little Toyota. 
How the hell did he manage to do that? <laughs> this is crazy! It looks like a crab. I don't know how you say that. I don't know in English. These animals were walking uh, sideways. How is this possible? This is really crazy. So I'm gonna go. Yeah. Thank you, man. Well, I am now arriving in Cusco, 